What's up, Warriors? Welcome to Warrior Training. This is the start of a new series called How to Basic. This is where we're showing you how to do basic exercises correctly. So let's begin episode one. Alrighty, Warriors, in episode one, we're gonna be learning the push up. When we perform a push up, we're gonna be using our chest, our shoulders, and our triceps. So right now, I'm gonna go through the procedure and how to do a proper push up and some things that we should be avoiding. So the first thing we should take into consideration while we're doing a push up is our hand placement. So we should have our hands at just over shoulder width apart with our fingers actually spread outwards and also turning our hands slightly outwards. In doing so, when we push up, you'll see my elbows come back at a 45 degree angle. Whereas if I point my hands inwards, my elbows actually flare outwards quite a lot. Now in this position, we place a lot of pressure onto our shoulder and our elbow joint and it's something that we really don't want. Alrighty guys, this is an aerial shot of me doing a push up. You can see my fingers are spread apart and they're slightly turned outwards. You can see that my elbows actually shoot back at a 45 degree angle, which is perfect and what we're looking for. You can see once I change up my hand position, I pull it more inwards, which most people tend to do in the gym. You can see my elbows flare outwards, which is something we're trying to avoid. Alrighty, so the last thing we need to take into consideration with hand placement is that a hand actually gets placed right underneath our shoulder here. As you can see, my shoulder, elbow and wrist is actually stacked on top of each other. And this is gonna help maximize the leverage uh, from our limbs that we can in the push-up. So once we get the correct hand placement, we're gonna come up into our push-up. And now we want as much tension in the body as we possibly can. So the first thing I'm going to do is tense up the legs, the glutes or the butt, and we're gonna tense our core. So you're gonna try and imagine that your belly is being pushed into your spine and you're gonna tense it all up. Now that we have perfect tension and perfect hand placement, this is where we can lower ourselves down and push straight back up. Now hopefully the chest is the first thing that touches the floor, unless you like myself and you do like a few chico rolls, then maybe it might be your belly, but we're hoping that is not the case. The reason I do say this though is a lot of people have a problem called gooseneck. If you do not know what gooseneck is, it's this little head movement people get when they push up. They think if they're closer to the ground with their head, they've done a push up. This is not push ups. Give yourself a double chin, pull your chin into your neck, and push up just like so. I can get a lot lower now. I am sorry, but I do realize that my video coverage in that little scene there was a bit short, so I'm going to demonstrate... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm now going to demonstrate how uh, a full-length body looks when we do our push-up, and also show you what a disengaged core also looks like as well. Alrighty, getting into my push-up position. I finally get my good hand placement ready. I'm in my position now. From here, I'm going to tense up my quads, my glutes and now my core and you should see my back is nice and straight. Give yourself that double chin and lower yourself down to the ground. Now you can see I've got a really nice looking push up. When people don't engage their core or tense their legs or their glutes, they get really slack and lose the tension throughout their body. And what happens is that they start to look like a wet towel. Now, this is what it kind of looks like. They come down and you see the upper body will start to move, but the lower half won't move that often. Almost like they're doing some yoga pose. This is cheating. This is not a real push up and is not great for your back either. But if you are having trouble pushing up on your toes and you need a bit of help, there are two options I can give you that are gonna help you out and hopefully build up your strength so you can eventually push up on your toes. So let's go check them out. So your first option to make the push-up easier is to elevate your hands. So I've got a step here. The same cues apply with hand placement and tension throughout your whole body. And you just bring your chest down to the step and push up. Your second option is dropping down to your knees. Now it's a bit different here. As you can see, if I get into a position, my hands are just in front of my shoulders and I've got a jackknife through my body. Now this is totally okay, because as we come down, you see our shoulders end up over our hands anyway. We push back and up into the starting position, just like so. 
But if you're still having a little bit of trouble, you can combine both of these methods on your knees and elevated hands, just like this. So that is absolutely everything from episode one on how to basic push up. Things to remember is our perfect hand placement, keeping your core nice and tight, making sure we give ourselves a double chin and that we don't have a gooseneck or disengage our core and your push-ups will be sweet. I really hope you guys did find enjoyment and value out of my video today. If you do have any other suggestions on uh, body weight exercises you would like to see, or anything that can improve my channel that would be greatly appreciated if you can leave a suggestion in the comment box section below. Um, so, besides from that, that is all, that is everything I have to say, all I have to lecture about. So stay fit, stay safe, and I'm going home.